Hey guys, still here and welcome back to From the Depths. It's the Red October playthrough adventure series. I'm currently controlling the sub manually, but the sub can also be controlled by the AI, although I will still need to set up the AI properly, because the maneuvers last time around were not too pretty. Anyway, um, you might have commented on the previous episode about how to do that, but I'm uh, I'm back to back recording these episodes, so this recording happened directly after episode 4. Which means that I'm a bit ahead when it comes to recording relative to your comments that might be suggestions on how to approach or improve the sub. So thank you for those suggestions. Um, I will probably incorporate some of those solutions, some of those suggestions in a future episode. For now, I want to try something a little silly. Um, it was suggested in a previous episode that I build a weapon system that's going to draw any target down. So it's going to be drawing down the target. Um, it's uh, going to be named the Kraken weapon system. And the Kraken is just capable of bringing the biggest threat down to me. So I'm going to turn the AIs off and thereby making sure that whatever happens to spawn in next is not going to get auto killed because I want to try that, uh, that killing system. That uh, I'm going to bring you down to my level system. My level is currently 150 meters down. Now, I'm looking for surface threats, although flyers would... <laughs> flyers would be amusing if I could sink those like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to set that up here. In the tower. And no, I'm not going to need that. Let's say I want to use four missile launchers. Um, yeah, I'm going to make these things manual so I can go for a hatched controller. And a couple of gantries. How effective this is going to be without any kind of melee system, I don't know. But I thought it was an amusing suggestion. Just bring whatever it is down to my level. All right, this thing is going to be connected around here. Controller. Like that. No launch pads attached, really. Are you happier now? Now you're happier. But this thing is not. There you are. Okay, I have to make sure that these things come with winches. These need to somehow be capable of winching down a target. So we're going to have one winch over there and one winch over here. I don't need much killing power on these things. I just need... Yeah, I'm going to go with a variable thruster. Fins, check. That's a lot of fuel tanks, considering the lifetime of 20 seconds. Uh, the fuel tank here can probably be sacrificed for a harpoon. Harpoon and some cabling works with the missile winch controller block. Missile winch block to attach onto targets and winch them in. We're also going to need a few cable drums. And then an active radar seeker. Yeah, that will work. Harpoon length, 2 kilometers. This way, I can send out a torpedo, no, missile, and it's going to go for 20 seconds. Thrusteration is even faster than that. So we're going to speed it up. There, 189 meters per second. And the plan is to engage whatever happens to be getting too close. Currently missile forwards, no. Um, whether this will work, I don't know, but I think it's amusing, so we're going to test it. I'm going to take manual control of this thing. You guys can leave. Come on. Uh, that's the power of the sub. What? Really? There we are. Okay, weapon four. I also have another weapon four. That is this thing that I took on for manual testing, but I don't need that anymore. 
Speaking of this weapon, I still need to cover that up. There. Okay, so what's going to happen? These torpedo, sorry, these rockets, these missiles, are going to come out of the tower. And when they do, and bring something down, I will need something that's going to be here to uh, to greet them, shall we say, to greet them. Simple weapons. Uh, a tactical nuke might be a bit much. Ram. Proportional to collision speed. No, not really. Drill. Add power inputs and torque amplifiers to increase performance and extensions or drill bits in front. Power inputs. This is the first time I'm using one of these. Right, so it doesn't work at the moment because it doesn't have any power input, I think. Not connected. Connect directly to a drill. They need to be like that. Not connected. Really? What if I put them underneath and then put the drill on top? There we go. Firepower, 0 0.1. Excellent. What else do I need? Drill extension allows you to expand the gap between the drill and its drill bits. Uh, I just need a large drill. Well, just. Jesus, those things are big. Just need a large drill bit, he said. That'll be fun, he said. Uh, these things need a power input first, then a drill. Do I first need to have a drill extension? Because this thing currently is turned on, but I'm not seeing it. Is that because I need a torque amplifier? There we go, that's it. There we go. Damage? 700? 800. That's a bit low. How fast can you spin? Six oh, now we're getting somewhere. I'm not sure whether this is an economic system at all, but I am very curious to see how slash whether it will perform. It's the first time I'm using a melee weapon like this. So there's all sorts of possibilities for this to go horribly wrong. Drill bit small. Um, why go for small when you can go for big? There. Damage, 2400. Armor pierce, 5. Can I set these things here? I can. If this thing works, it's going to be a really nice sight. Damage? 3,000 and counting. That's per drill. I just need a volunteer for this thing. There probably won't be too many of those, but, you know. Uh, can I add another one? Yes. Drill, 4,000 damage, but they all have that. I think I might, in fact, need more of these things. Armor Pierce, 10. Damage, 5,000? On a drill? I just hope that I don't accidentally blow my own drill off like that. New weapon four. Uh, where am I? I am in the assembly here. Here. This is weapon four. No, what do you mean no launch pads attached? Don't be like that. What? Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You copy the all. Thank you. Oh, gotcha. This one's taken over. That's the problem. So if I set this thing up like this. Yeah, there we go. All right, weapon test. Am I going to blow myself up, yes or no? My weapons. Oh, yeah. If you keep replacing it, it's going to go off of your controller. So, number four. There it goes. Currently, there are no targets around. Mm hmm? Why are you... Where are you going? Not... Anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna speed my submarine up to ensure I can get some distance. The more distance I travel, the more likely there is to be a spawn. And I want that. I want something to spawn. I want to test these things. Because if this works, I could just chew through... I'll chew through the bottom of any ship. And thereby just eliminate it. The thing is, though, it's supposed to launch all four of these missiles. Ah. No, you are connected. You know what? I'm going to go with just two. Just two. And then since those blocks are gone... Here. Open four. It's only launching one. Oh, I was not mirrored. That's why that's not happening. Okay, try again. This one needs to go. Let's just start afresh, because I'm getting a bit confused about where these missiles are and whether or not they're going to be interfering with the drills. Yeah, I think this weapon system, that missile launcher, was almost directly controlled by those things over there. So that was causing all sorts of problems, unsurprisingly. Right, so I want them over, maybe over here. Just one more block out, so that they hopefully don't interfere with anything. Something exploding, or is that just my, just my boys? Okay, that's fine. Missiles, medium missile, right down at the bottom. There. I'm just going to do this without a hatch. It should be fine like that. So finish up the rest. That's the four meter beam. I'm oh, sorry, the three meter beam. And here comes the four there. Now we're going to make this thing pretty simple. Missiles, I need two winches. One on that side and one on that side. I need a powerful winching system. And then I need a controller. I need you to be set to weapon four. And, oh, no, you're not. Damn. These small missile systems are getting in the way. Um, fine, we'll just use one then. If that's how it's going to be, we'll just use one. So remove this, remove that. Go on. This one. Set to weapon four. And here is a winch. Okay, you. Variable thruster. Uh, or a torpedo. Yeah, I first want to see if it works as a torpedo. Fuel tank, one set of fins should be sufficient. 
So this is going to be the fins. This is going to be the fuel tank. Uh, here we're going to have the ballast tank, I suppose. Harpoon. Uh, cable drum. Cable drum, cable drum, cable drum. Cable length, 2700 meters. Torpedo sonar. Lifetime, 40 seconds. Torpedo thrust, 60 seconds. Speed up. 40 seconds there. Okay then, range, 73, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, 73 meters per second at about 40 meters per second. Sorry, 40 seconds. Give me three second ramp time. This way, I have a pretty decent capacity to take down so stuff on the surface. At least, I hope so. Let's see if it launches, yes it does. Just doesn't really have anywhere to go. It's fast though. Oh, there's something out here. Where, 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 where? Where? Somewhere behind me. To the south? Where am I headed? I'm headed south. Target north. Come right. I'm gonna have to up my propulsion, my uh, engine output, because at this rate I'm gonna be draining my batteries. So that's something I need to work on. Okay, are we heading in the direction yet? We are now. Can we see it yet? That's a bird. It's over there, isn't it? Yeah, it's way out in the distance. Okay. Let me improve my output for energy. Here, I had a small steam boiler. Uh, I think I can just output another one of these things, right? Uh, resources, no steam. Boiler. Now what do we need? Small turbine generator connection. Uh, boiler. Oh, crap, then I cannot control the boiler. Mm, boiler, boiler, pipe. It's not the most creative, beautiful solution, but it will work. There we go. And this thing is now starting to power the batteries again. Or... Well, it's working on it, it's just not doing it fast enough. Now it is. Batteries are getting charged again. The submarine itself is really slow though, I'm just doing 7 meters per second. I will need to spend quite a bit more on building a bigger steam engine. All right, I'm going to pause the recording here for a bit until we get closer to the target, and then we're going to test the Kraken. By now I've closed the distance a bit. I'm not sure if we're in range, but I think we are. So it's time to launch the torpedo, the grappler, and see if we're going to be actually finding that target. Oh crap, did I put a torpedo sonar on that, or a radar? Uh, you... Torpedo sonar. Okay, so it should be fine. It just seems to go off and do its own thing. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> I'm not sure where that thing's going, but not really where I want it. Uh, let's try that again. Torpedo sonar. Basically in a straight firing line. Or... No. Just about, no, it doesn't need to be sea skimming, it's a torpedo. There's the target. I could put on a one turn instead of one of the cable drums. Maybe that's going to help with maneuvering. I'm sacrificing a bit of cable length, but that should not be... Are you shooting me, sir? 
In that case, we're going to have a sturdy conversation here. Aiming via the one turn. Where are you going? Oh, it might be. It latched onto the target. Or did it? No, it didn't. It's out there. Crap. There's the target right there. Scrapper, locked on. No, what are you doing? Uh oh. Cram shells incoming. Is this thing maybe going too fast? Let's slow you down substantially. Weapon four, that way. Lock onto the scrapper. The mimic of the scrapper, I don't care. As long as you As long as you lock on, that'd be great. Because my craft is hungry. Hello! Gotcha. Now, come here. We are now joined. Now the question is, who's stronger? Your buoyancy? Or my towing power? Right now it seems to be him. Although... Yeah, I'm not sure if this whole winching system is doing much. That's okay. It's a first test. Do I have any cable winches attached here? Yeah, two of them. Power to use by the winch. All of it. Desired... Oh, here we go. I need to hold it at... 10 meters? I wouldn't be surprised if I lost it at this point. I'm being pulled up. He's not being pulled down. So your buoyancy wins from my ability to stay down? Is that how it's going to be? It seems that way. Although... Can we just send another torp in this direction? Just another harpoon? I'm not sure if two harpoons are better than one. Are you kidding? Come here. I'm gonna test out the Kraken. No free winch to attach a harpoon to. Yeah, oh, don't do that. It's so close, this thing. Throw a new one. Where the hell are you even going? Oh, we're getting it. Come here. Come here. My drills are eager to meet you. Really eager. Come here. Yes. Yes, it's happening. Holy shit. Oh, that was amazing. We just chewed right through that thing. I want more. More, more, more. Give me a weapon for. This thing doesn't have any ejectors on it, but it could have fooled me. Latch on. Where's the harpoon? It's not latching on. Okay, speed up. And I'm gonna pay for this in battery power. That's, that's fine. We'll just make that work. I swear there's no ejectors on this launch pad, but this thing is going so ridiculously fast. The 
problem is I can barely, barely latch onto it at this angle. Try it again. Targeting the scrapper, yes. Yes, you got the right idea, right there. Come here, scrapper. Here, scrapper, scrapper, scrapper. You can try and target me all you want, but it's only delaying the inevitable. This winch is also set to 10, set to five. Apply it to all. Bring it in. This is why I wanted two harpoons, not one. Because these things apparently have quite a bit of ability to just free themselves or to, to run away. Even though they don't seem to have as much power or as much buoyancy, especially being upside down. I'm surprised they're even moving. Whoa! Something else is enjoying this fight. Somebody else has participated. There we go. Wherever you are, Falkenheim, don't get involved. This is just a thing between me and him. I think that was a counter torpedo. Oh, there's dusters overhead. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Can I target a duster? If I set this thing up to a variable thruster and an active... Ow, Raider Seeker. Can that work? Maybe you don't want to... Where are you going? I don't need a one turn on this one, not this time. I need cable drum. Oh, we caught him again. He's not budging. I think my one harpoon's not strong enough. Send it out. We're gonna go right into the scrapper, I think? No, I'm not sure where that one's going. Definitely not at the scrapper, anyway. These dusters need a stern talking to. Why is my hearthstone gone? Come on. This is not how this is going to end. That would be too soon. It has a conger. Can they get that far? These small missiles? Maybe. Yeah, they might be able to make it. No, they don't. Oh, shit. This thing is pulling me up instead of me pulling it down. I need to have a lot more balance on this thing. Come on, eat it. Use those drills and eat it. I want to really, really quickly dive now. So, in a way, the system works. But not quite as I would like it. Let's see if we can... No. I'm going to catch one of those dusters. Pull that guy down to my level. Uh, give me an infrared seeker. Oh, we caught something. I think. Whoa! Where's that duster? There. Straight firing line. No! No, 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 no. Not a straight firing line. Uh, sea skimming. That one's going into space. Please get daylight. 
because that'd be far easier to use to target. What's going on? It's almost like that thing thought it already locked onto something. Look at that. Like it was latched onto something. It wasn't. Whoa! I think that duster just needs to go. But the problem is, the conger is attracting all the attention. Let's then take down the conger and make sure it's no longer an active target. Range 2900. That's going to be at the edge of operational range. Can we at least do some damage to get some parts back? Yeah, we're doing some damage here. It doesn't seem terribly impressed though with what I'm doing to it. Why am I at the surface again? Because my PID... This one still says to go to minus 150. Frickin' dusters. Nope, Congress target. I'm gonna need an anti-air gun. Something that's set specifically to engage aerial targets at a short range. It's an APS with uh, super cavitating shells. Because the, the way that these guys are currently harassing me is getting annoying. They keep inflicting damage. And there's not a whole lot that I can do against it. So that's going to be something for the next episode. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep the Kraken on here. The large drill bits. So if I catch something, it works well. But I think it would be easier to surface just below something and just chew right through it. Something like that might work better. Anyway, that'll be all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the Kraken system. And, uh, well, we'll see if this thing is going to last for another episode. Thank you for watching. See you soon.